God bless your global Christian friends. God bless your American people, government out there, military farmers, factory workers, field workers, police officers, firemen, postal carriers, teachers, doctors, lawyers, military. Feel the blessing of the Lord upon yourself while you protect. Hear the prayers of the men and women while you protect them. And we pray for you. God bless you farmers across America. You herdsmen out there as well too. 1516, and he would fain had filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. Hmm. Sad state to be in. And then he came to himself. Like the Apostle Peter, the Bible says, the Apostle Peter came to himself. He came to himself. He said, how many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare? Huh. He knew because he came from that, didn't he? He knew because he came from there. And I perish with hunger. Now, you don't know what it's like to perish with hunger. Trust me, you don't know. You don't know the pain of what it means to perish with hunger. But when you see the hunger in the children's face, and they would tell me, I was in Africa, Bishop, I'm so hungry. And you look into their eyes and you see the hunger in their eyes and you see the ignorance. And my God, my God, I've had so many experiences and experiments in Africa. It's just incredible. God bless you out there who is helping to feed the children across not only the continent of Africa, but across the continent of America. And you out there who are has millions, get together and set up systems so that you may be able to send foods around to those that are in need. Unless you know what it means to have hunger pains, you never understand it or they want water. I used to pump water in Africa from sun up to sundown, none stop. Sun up to sundown, none stop. They would come in droves. Now would pump, 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 pump. Sun up to sundown. And I would just pump that water out of the ground for them. And they would bring anything to get water in. I saw how wonderful the Lord was. About 20 yards away was the Atlantic Ocean. Yet 20 yards away from that was a well of pure water. And between that 20 yards, between the Atlantic Ocean and that pure water, there was a mango tree on the beach. And guess what? The fruit of the mango tree was ripe, and the water out of the well was not salty. And I drew their attention to both of those phenomena. Mango tree on the beach, salt ocean, sweet fruit. Well of water 20 yards away from the Atlantic Ocean, fresh water, not salty. It's, we never thought about that before. But God give you wisdom, knowledge, 
understanding to see these kind of things. You thank God for what he does and how he does. I said, you imagine what it's like for God to be under this ground you're standing on to purify the water you're drinking here from the well. And you can throw a stone in the Atlantic Ocean right there. And you throw it across that mango tree and the mango fruit is still sweet. You, can, you don't see, you don't understand, don't you know God by now? So we do understand now. God has been with you all, blessing you all the whole time. You're not even aware of the works that God is doing to bless you. That's what he's doing through his ministry. He's blessing pastors out there. Now I'll show you what he means when he called y'all dogs out there. Alright? They cannot bark and other things. But you need to know what it means to breathe in the fragrance of God. To breathe in the air of God. To have your soul based in the knowledge of God. To look on those powers of the world to come. To have your soul climb up into the tree of life and partake of that wonderful succulence. And things of that sort. And these are just minor, minor, minor things because there is knowledge uh, far beyond what you're listening coming from this side of your screen. Far. Let's get back to the young man. I perish with hunger. Think about that statement. Here's a man, young man, in a far country saying I perish with hunger. But he also know that my father have bread enough to spare. But I'm over here in this far country hungry. But over yonder my father got bread enough to spare. It don't make sense, does it? Over yonder my father had bread enough to spare. And over here I'm perishing with hunger. Think about that statement. Heaven over yonder. Earth over here. God over there, man over here. Father over there, you over here. All right? Your father know what you have need of before you ask him, Jesus said. Is that correct? And you're perishing with hunger. But he did say in verse 18, I will rise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and before thee. I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Double. Notice that? I have sinned against heaven and I have sinned before thee. I have sinned against heaven and I did it before you. Notice that? But well, what did Jesus say there? More rejoicing over one person which repented and over 99 just that need none. God bless you, global Christian friends, American people and government. Until the next time. All right.